Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to make a few stick welds using the TIG Weld 200EX in the stick welding mode. So in the stick welding mode it operates from 10 to 170 amps at a 25 percent duty cycle. So hang out for a few minutes and let's take a look at some of the welds that we can make using the TIG Weld 200EX in the stick welding mode. So this is a piece of 3 quarter inch A36 steel that we're going to put a 1 8 overlay on the surface using 316 stainless steel. I set the amperage at 100 so we didn't get too much dilution between the stainless steel and the carbon steel in the weld. The goal here is, is to build up the surface, not necessarily get a lot of penetration. We want good adhesion but not a lot of penetration or our stainless steel will get diluted with the carbon steel based material. Slag came off easy and I checked the temperature using an infrared laser thermometer and wanted to check and make sure the base metal wasn't more than 300 before I put down the next weld. I went ahead and started the next weld and did a slight weave back and forth to make sure that I got it so that it wetted in well to the base material but also to the previous weld and tied in well on both sides. Once again trying to keep it full and not get too much penetration. Once again the slag comes off relatively easy if we let it cool off slightly before we start striking it. And once again, I checked the temperature right along the weld to make sure that I wasn't exceeding 300. And this one was a little bit on the hot side, so I went ahead and waited for a few minutes before I put down the last couple of welds here uh, on the exterior surface. Now with the material cooled off a little bit, I went ahead and laid down the third weld here. Once again, slight weave side to side just to get it to tie into the previous weld and tie into the base material because I'm running it a little on the cold side so that I don't get too much mixture with the base material and dilute that stainless steel. Easy tap with the hammer and the slag comes right off. And there's what it looked like after three passes. So it was time to lay down the last and final pass down along the edge. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't overheat it and have it pour over the edge. But I also wanted to make sure that it was full and complete so I had a slight weave back and forth to make sure it tied in on both sides. So a little wrap of the hammer here slag came off and then a little handy work with the wire brush and it was cleaned up and ready to go. So I tried to build up about an eighth inch of thickness. The surface appearance was clean and smooth so I decided to go ahead and take the grinder and grind off the surface. The surface was pretty smooth, so I go ahead and just use the flapper disc, 60 grit flapper on my 4 inch grinder, and go ahead and try to polish off or finish off the surface. So I left any big valleys or grooves in between subsequent passes. I wouldn't be able to sand this finish off as easily. I probably would have needed the hard grinding disc first. But with the flapper wheel here, I'm able to take it down relatively quickly and knock it down to where it's clean and smooth without any surface discontinuity. So with just a little bit of effort here, I kept moving it around. I don't want to get a hot spot and heat the stainless steel too much and cause it to turn blue or change colors or overheat it. The surface appearance showed it was clean with no cracks or slag inclusions. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out and check out our equipment.
So we hope to see you back real soon. Have a great day.